What's going on folks? It's time for another kaiju listing. Although this one is going to be purely based on the Pacific Rim franchise. Now we'll all probably agree on this, Pacific Rim took the giant monster genre truly to another level. I mean, who can resist a movie about giant robots fighting a war against alien monsters that gave Cloverfield a run for his money? It was seriously the dominant giant monster movie of the modern age until the Monsterverse decided to step in. Although being a completely different universe, Pacific Rim sure does seem to have a bit more freedom in the implementation of its kaiju since they all seem a bit over the top. Not that we're complaining, it's actually more interesting. So without dragging the intro too long, let's start the countdown of the 15 largest Pacific Rim kaiju right away. Number 15. Karloff So Karloff will probably be most remembered as the fifth kaiju to attack humanity and also for being the first kaiju to be slain by a Jaeger. Now, Karloff is a notably thin kaiju as opposed to its more heavily muscled brethren. It has a large long head with two sets of double eyes. Its skin is gray and leathery, with brown and red marking on its shoulders, back, fingers, and chin. Number 14. Hakuja, 170 feet. This kaiju is covered in crustacean-like armor with a body style similar to that of an alligator. Additionally, it's also similar to a mole since it's capable of burrowing several feet underground, using its armored head to break through the ground and to ambush an opponent. Hakuja's muscles are strengthened by its molten blood, and its armor-plated spike tail can even pierce the armor of Jaeger. He might be ranked pretty low on this list, but Hakuja is definitely one of the most powerful kaiju in the franchise. Number 13. Hardship 187 feet We know that's a pretty dumb name for a kaiju. Maybe they should have stuck to his nickname, Bowser, used during production after all. Coming back to the kaiju itself, Hardship's appearance is similar to Mutavor, with its main distinction being the huge knife-like protrusion in its head. Its attack behavior is similar to Leatherback's, which consists of pouncing at an enemy and clutching tightly at it. However, his attack skills couldn't save him from the Mark I Jaeger that gave Hardship the ultimate hardship. Number 12. Onibaba, 188 feet Now, the name Onibaba literally translates to Demon Hag in Japanese, although that doesn't have anything to do with this Category 2 Kaiju. Onibaba rather bears a striking resemblance to a crustacean and a certain Japanese temple. Also, this kaiju possesses four large legs along with two thick claws that are said to be able to crush over 50,000 pounds per square inch. Trust me, those claws are nasty. Number 11. Otachi, 207 feet Otachi is one of the largest and heaviest Category 4 kaiju to make landfall. She's larger than other kaiju types in terms of length, though that's not the same case with mass. More gangly in appearance than many other kaiju, Otachi was nevertheless a fearsome opponent in battle with her long forelimbs ending in viciously sharp talons, and the tip of her semi-prehensile tail was able to split in three to form a spiked claw-like appendage with which to strike at her opponents. Another notable feature about the quadruped kaiju is that Otachi is capable of flight to the edge of space, even when her legs are carrying something as heavy as a Jaeger. Number 10. Leatherback, 267 feet Leatherback was a powerful brawler kaiju who, along with Otachi, defeated Cherno Alpha, Crimson Typhoon, and Striker Eureka before being submitted by Gypsy Danger. Leatherback is a naturally hostile creature whose appearance is similar to that of a gorilla. However, if injured, Leatherback uses hit-and-run tactics to defeat foes. She had 14 glowing blue tentacles on the top of her head, similar to a sea anemone. Like Godzilla, Leatherback could project electromagnetic pulses from a pod on her shell at the upper back, which is this kaiju's most deadly trait. Moreover, she could use her fists like Kong. And in fact, her bony fists are solid enough to even bound through Jaeger armor. Number 9. Mutavor, 295 feet 
Mutavor is a massive Category 4 kaiju that has a hooked, sharp curve above its plated and bony structure, around its head and curving down from its chin in a crescent shape. Mutavor has three eyes on both sides of its head. This giant bipedal kaiju weighs about 2,630 tons and is basically a mobile weapon of mass destruction since this beast of a being takes pleasure in destroying cities and, at times, the entire planet. Number 8. Shrikethorn – 300 feet Shrikethorn is one of the three kaiju that emerge from several artificial breaches created by the kaiju Jaeger hybrids. Although the most striking feature of this Category 4 kaiju is at the front of its head, which is shaped like a hammerhead shark. Yes, we are talking about those multiple blue eyes. Moreover, other than its ability to produce plasma that it can use as an offensive weapon, Shrikethorn carries sharp, bioluminescent spines on both of its tails, which can even be launched, becoming dangerous projectiles. Number 7. Trespasser – 302 feet the first of a wave of kaiju to attack Earth at the direction of the precursors, Trespasser is a massive beast who wrecked a few cities in California before being hit by three tactical nukes. Any Pacific Rim fan knows who Trespasser was, the first kaiju to emerge from the breach. We all, at least I do, want to see more of this kaiju to truly know what happened in California. Little factual information could be ascertained from Trespasser following its attack in San Francisco. It stands taller or at level with the Golden Gate Bridge and is strong enough to tear the structure apart with its claws. To my amazement, there's actually a conspiracy about him. So if you want more on that, feel free to comment below and if we get enough responses, then you can expect a video on that pretty soon. Number 6. Knifehead – 315 feet As its name suggests, this Category 3 Kaiju's most notable feature is definitely the long and broad, sharp-ended nose that could easily cut through the armor of a Jaeger just like a knife. Apart from that, it has a large, shell-like armor on its back, while the rest of its body is similar to that of a goblin shark in appearance. We know it's definitely one of the most weird-looking kaiju from the franchise. However, don't be fooled by its looks, since Knifehead is the first kaiju to display overt intelligence and is undoubtedly one of the most cunning kaiju in the entire series. Number 5. Raijin – 350 feet What you're looking at now is actually the most dangerous kaiju in Pacific Rim Uprising, and there can't be any doubts about that as it's classified as a Category 5 badass. Raijin is bipedal, more T-Rex-like. Also, he's got a head almost resembling a Venus flytrap that enables him to close up in defense mode. He has the ability to absorb energy from any attack and then use it to power his body and use it as a weapon. On top of that, Raijin is also pretty darn huge as well. Number 4. Raiju – 358 feet Now, Raiju is one beast of a kaiju and, as you can see, he somehow resembles a Galapagos iguana perfectly fused with a crocodile in appearance and behavior as well. No matter how you look at him, he looks like an abomination because it isn't regular for crocodilian monsters to stand up and walk on both feet. What's more is that, according to Tendo Choi, Raiju was the fastest kaiju on record prior to the appearance of Slattern and is a formidable monster both on land and water as well. Broad-shouldered, Raiju is also heavily armored along its back and head. Man, what a beast! Number 3. Scunner 441 feet. Scunner is a Category 4 kaiju that protects the breach from the Jaegers alongside Slattern and Raiju. Scunner is also the largest Category 4 in Pacific Rim and his appearance and behavior is similar to that of a bull. Broad and stocky, its two curved horns jutting out of its head act as battering rams against armored opponents like Jaegers. Scunner also possesses four arms that aid in its ability to move faster than any opponents underwater. Number 2. Mega Kaiju – 500 feet What happens when you merge three different kaijus together? Mega Kaiju is exactly what you get. Since Mega Kaiju is a kaiju hybrid 
created using the forms of Category 4 and Category 5 Kaiju – Raijin, Hakuja, and Strikethorn. The Kaiju that makes an appearance in Pacific Rim Uprising displays a few attributes of its previous forms and towers over the Jaegers, and so the name Mega is more than befitting. Number 1. Slattern – 596 feet The longest and strongest of all the known kaiju in the Pacific Rim franchise, Slattern is unrivaled by any of its brethren in battle. The creature's high toxicity levels and intelligence makes it the most lethal kaiju the Pan-Pacific Defense Corps has ever faced. The Category 5 kaiju has six clawed limbs and three tails that are deadly in close quarters combat. Slattern, besides of being the largest and strongest, is also presumably the most cunning kaiju in Pacific Rim, having been designed that way by its creators to combat the returned gypsy danger. So, that was all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to keep watching more videos like these, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, keep watching Back Talking.